So how much does it cost for a self-sufficient mobile living vehicle anyways? I'm glad you asked. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today we have a little bit of fireside. I hope you're enjoying your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today is a tech photo type of day. I was reading an article over on Petapixel and I was thinking about doing a photo type of video today. And I was reading this article and it kind of had something to do with photo because it was talking about getting photographers off grid and allowing them to travel the US, let's say, travel the country, wherever they're located and be able to do it self-sufficiently and not have have to worry about constantly going back into town for water, for whatever, right? So this was a very interesting concept to me. And the reason being is a lot of you that have been on the live streams with my wife and I on Friday nights, if you haven't been there, come join us. Friday nights, usually about eight o'clock, nine o'clock, we go live. Anyways, they've been talking about not only the Starlink thing, but also solar and other off-grid type of self-sufficient living. So it doesn't matter what it is. It could just have something to do with water. It could have to do with battery power. It could have something to do with solar panels, whatever. We even had a really nice woman talking to us about homeschooling and the benefits and what she does and what you can do to be able to bring your kids out of the school system and homeschool them if you can do it. A lot of us today after the pandemic have moved to working out of their home, right? And being that we can work out of our home now, this means that we can work out of a mobile home. Not necessarily an actual camper type thing, but yes, it could be. We can constantly move around the U.S. or wherever we are and continue to work as long as we have internet, we have food, we have water, the amenities. I want to go through this article with you and then give you my thoughts, my opinions, what I have been doing for the last 20 plus years, homesteading basically on a five acre track. So, Let's get into this article, but before we do, I want to say that if you haven't downloaded any of my eBooks as of yet, just go pick them up. They're free. Go over to jchristina.com forward slash books. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash books. Also, if you want content specifically on Starlink, not this, not photo, not video, just Starlink. A lot of you have been asking me for that. There is now a playlist just for you. Go check that out. Maybe I'll put a link over here. Also, if you enjoy this content, even the least, throw it a thumbs up. That would be very helpful and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And if you are subscribed, click this little button over here, that notification button, and then click all. So when I go live on Fridays or when a new video comes out, you'll be notified of it immediately. Also, if you just want to say thank you for all of my hard work, there's a little thank you button down there. You can click on that. Give a dollar or two if you would like. If not, that's fine too. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. If you want to also become a member of this community, that's not on YouTube, but on my creative discord server, you could go to community.jchristina.com. Once again, community.jchristina.com. Go check that out. Also, you guys asked me for it and now it is there. All of my videos are now on Rumble. If you go over to rumble.com forward slash jchristina, once again, rumble.com forward slash jchristina, you'll find all my videos over there also. Anyways, let's jump right into this article. I think it's fascinating. Once again, I'll give you my commentary after. It says, Living Vehicles has announced a new all-electric luxury travel trailer that will let photographers live and work off-grid in style indefinitely. The company has created a solution that is capable of self-sufficiency thanks to its fully solar electric and water generation systems. Living Vehicles says it is the most powerful solar-powered all-electric luxury travel trailer on the planet that offers unmatched off-grid capabilities, equipped with more solar power than most residential homes. The trailer is equipped with 4.4 kilowatt dual solar awnings and end-to-end -end dual layer solar roof, which powers its 72 kilowatts of energy storage and 18 kilowatts of power, which runs all onboard electronic equipment, including electronic heating and cooling. So you're getting the heating side of things as well as cooling, and it's all run on solar. 
Amazing, right? The living vehicle can operate entirely off-grid, allowing users to enjoy the great outdoors without restrictions or limitations. Basically, the company indicates that if a user has to return to civilization, it won't be because of the trailer. The company says this, quote, The ability to generate resources and provide independence from the grid is one of the critical features of the 2024 living vehicle lineup. The luxury trailer uses an innovative water system to create an endless water supply while traveling off-grid by extracting humidity from the air and storing it in a fresh water tank, allowing infinite time away from the grid. Now, I did a little bit of research on this unit, and I found out the company was called WaterGen, and it's an Israeli company that made this unit that extracts water out of the air. So you don't need a well or have to travel to a specific location to now onboard a ton of potable water because your unit is going to be making it while you're off grid. Pretty neat. The article continues, WaterGen's patented technology extracts water from the air in a highly efficient manner. Using food grade materials and a multi-stage cleaning and filtration process, it becomes a safe and delicious source without extracting and filtering groundwater. The WaterGen water air generator is paired with a living vehicle's oversized freshwater tank, multiple redundant power sources, energy storage packs, and off-road capabilities to allow owners to come comfortably extend their freedom on the road and in remote locations longer than ever before. Living Vehicle says that the solar-powered trailer is also designed to work in any season and can operate down to negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit thanks to its dual-zone 240-volt mini-split electric heating system. So you're getting heating and cooling once again with solar power and the batteries are being warmed at the same time so it can actually operate to negative four degrees fahrenheit that's amazing now they state this quote living vehicles is fully insulated with 100 percent rigid closed cell foam insulation which keeps the inside cool in environments that reach up to 120 degrees fahrenheit or higher using a 24,000 btu air conditioned system with a sear 21 rating so once again they have this dual zone mini split 240 volt unit that heats and cools. So it doesn't matter if you're at 120 degrees or if you're at zero degrees, you're still going to be comfortable in this trailer luxury trailer at that. Each unit is custom made and living vehicle offers multiple bed configuration options in the trailer that can be equipped to sleep up to eight adults. I don't know how they do that. That's amazing. The flagship queen and king suite, for example, features over 150 square feet of storage space and six foot full height closet. Now, this is what a lot of the geeks and people like myself that want to work out and about and be off grid want to hear. It says, of course, the trailer is equipped with the technology a mobile creative would need. It has an 80 inch dual station or folding bed system that includes a suite of high end Mac and Apple devices, and very important, a Starlink flat satellite dish that provides a dedicated Wi-Fi network anywhere on the planet. Now that SpaceX has not only Rome, but they have global Rome, that means that you can take this unit anywhere on Earth, pretty much in reason, and be able to use it and have connectivity. So you will have water, you'll have heating, you'll have cooling, you'll have internet right? So you can do your work. Everything is there, all encompassing. Basically, this unit is self-sustainable. Well, the question is here, how much is your wallet going to be hit if you purchase one of these? I'm glad you asked. It's not cheap, guys. It's not cheap. So if you go with the core unit, which has a solar capacity of two kilowatts and power of six kilowatts, energy of 21 kilowatts, you're looking at $459,000. That is the core unit. Then you have a max unit that brings that energy up to 43 kilowatts for $550,000. And then for $640,000, your kilowatts go up to 72 kilowatts of power that is stored in the unit. So there is a lot being stored here. So 
Is this for everyone? No. But there's a lot of people that are either retired that want to go and travel or there's folks that just simply want to travel their country that they're in and still work while they're moving around and seeing everything. There's a lot of people today that are in the mindset that they want to travel in their younger years in comparison to yesteryears where it was like we would work every single day, nine to five, and then retire at 55, 60, 65, and then at that point go and travel when you're all decrepit and everything hurts and you don't want to travel anymore, right? People are now trying to travel more and see things more when they're younger than later on in life when it's more difficult. So this is definitely a means to do that. Now, let me just give you some background of what I do here. Now, I have a homestead. We do have an estate, which is five acres, but we do not have water. We do not have septic. We do not have street lights. We do not have fiber. We do not have cable. We do not, do not, do not, do not. Okay. Now, people will be like, why in the hell do you live there? We do have AT&T internet, which is basically U-verse, which is garbage, 15 megs down and 1.5 megs up. It's basically useless. It's for an emergency and that's about all you can do with it. And that is all that we have here. There's nothing else. So people will be like, why, once again, do you live there? Why don't you live in a city? Well, the benefits here are when we leave the mall or leave the shopping area and come back to our property, Well, guess what? Everything becomes silent. There's no more hustle. There's no more bustle. There's no more lights. There's no more traffic. There's no more horns. There's nothing. When I walk outside of my house at night, guess what I see? I see stars, guys. Beautiful stars. There is no light pollution. It's just pristine, right? So that is the benefit of living kind of off grid or in less than the suburbs, let's say country. Now, during the whole virus thing where no one was going to work for months on end, we were okay here, right? Because we do our own thing. We pump out our own water. We have our own septic. We have a chicken coop. At that time, my son and I built two chicken coops. So we have turkey, we have chickens, we have the roosters, we get eggs. It's a beautiful thing. Now, some people aren't into that. That's fine. But I can tell you something, guys. I can tell you this. This is this is just 100% factual. My son and I, during this whole period of time, we took eggs from the chicken and we took a couple of eggs that came from store-bought. At the time, it was Publix. And we decided to crack one of our eggs and one of the store-bought eggs, equal in size, into two clear containers. And guess what we see? Well, the egg that came from our chicken, the yolk was like orange and just beautiful and rich. And the whites was just crystal clear. I mean, it looked pristine. It looked absolutely amazing. When we looked at the egg that we cracked open for Publix, well, the yolk kind of looked like this color. It was like a little bit yellowish, greenish tinge. It wasn't that rich, yolk-like, orangey color. No, it was like yellow green. Gross. So we said, you know what? We're going to cook them up separately and taste them. And sure damn enough, the store-bought egg tasted like water. It didn't have a lot of flavor. Whereas the egg that came from our chicken literally had that rich, fatty yolk taste of an actual real egg. So... Now, not that you guys are going to go and build a chicken coop tomorrow. That's not what I'm saying here. But a lot of people that are watching this channel are trying to become more self-sufficient, more self-reliant, and not so reliant on the municipalities. Because if something ever went sideways, you will have the means to be able to take care of your family in comparison to running around like a chicken, pardon the pun, with no head, trying to figure out where is your next meal going to come from, right? Right? So there's something to be said about being prepared. And that's not being a prepper because that has a bad connotation that just people are like nuts, these preppers, right? But there is something to be said about preparation and having the means of being self-sufficient and not relying all the time on municipalities. And some of that has to do with solar 
Some might have to do with building a chicken coop. Some might have something to do with getting a well so you have an alternative means of getting water out of the ground instead of worrying about getting water from a municipality. What if the water became tainted of some sort? There's a lot of things that can possibly happen and just simply thinking about them and being prepared is not a bad thing. Now, once again, the majority of you are not going to be buying this luxury trailer anytime soon. But just having the understanding and knowing that this is possible, I think it is empowering in some manner. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, throw it a thumbs up. That would be very helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click this button. Do all of those things. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me and my family. That's it, guys. I'm out of here for the end of the vlog. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you in the next one. Love you all.